the last time I talked to us about how to set up your a pinnacle system, right? With your old camera. And in that exercise, we made use of this old Sony camera that has a lot of the features not functioning. If you look at the camera like we did, we could actually turn it on very well and it's on as you could see but the LCD display is dead meaning that the touch screen is not working you can see that the touch screen is not functioning and when you check the HDMI ports they are also not functioning the HDMI the DV a few things are dead in this camera so it's probably one of those cameras I have lying around you know without a job for it's a mini dv camera it's hdv it's got has a good resolution but it's mini dv so you need to put it in a mini dv tape i don't have a mini dv tape in here right now for this exercise but that's just what you probably would have to make use of if you want to keep this camera running for a bit longer now we want to use this with the OBS with the live stream program that I have installed in this system but this time around instead of using the pinnacle device which a lot of you don't have I would stick with using something that you probably would have so instead of going with uh, pinnacle the pinnacle device uh, as we previously did Today, we would rather go with something that a lot of you can easily find, buy, and use. And so for today's device, it's going to, we're going to be making a demo with the EasyCap uh, USB stick, recording stick. I'll show you what I mean. That's going to have to be this guy. Uh, you could probably find a lot of these very highly affordable. Although the resolution is not... Yeah, that's which you could. Yeah, but it could do it. It could do you a lot of good because you could uh, have a pretty good uh, quality SD quality, not HD quality, uh, from this. So if you're using this, you'll be going for an XD resolution and not uh, a DV resolution. That's one thing you need to be very uh, mindful of. You're going to be getting SD standard definition and not high definition with these guys right so if that's settled and of course most of your viewers will be using their mobile phones maybe a smaller screen or something so it might not really count that much in terms of their view right once you get a good audio ring then you're good to go so we will be making use of this little guy here for today's demo so you could see exactly how i put this together uh and that like i said i'm focusing on videos right now without the sound mixer and those stuff in here for me to show you the audio demo we're still doing a couple of checking around for some of you checking your installations to ensure that you do it quite well so if you're having issues feel free to contact us and let's see exactly how we can work that out right so we get on with this immediately uh, so what we're going to do here is that we'll be uh, taking the AV output of this one which seems to be working as you can see even when the LED display is 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 down right to get started with this we would begin by uh, attaching the av cable that came with your camera each of these have very unique ports so you need to watch out for the ports the pin this pin that goes into the av port of your camera and it's it's very important that you get that right so we will put this in the AV port of this camera. Now we are set to have video and audio signals coming out from the camera. Mind you also that it's possible for you to feed in audio too into these some of these machines. So if you have a mic input you could bring in your mic connected into the camera and all that it's all the, it's all up to you how you want to uh, connect your devices but for this machine this little machine here the uh, audio video cables here 
right uh, good enough for us to use in this very exercise so I have actually attached it in here the next thing that I will have to do here is to attach these into the capture stick that's going to be uh, the video to the video uh, the color codings might likely be consistent with this that's that audio and then uh, audio so you have two left right channel for your audios and then you have one video channel you know video uh, connection and that's it so it's all linked up now you're ready to have your video signals converted from AV to USB so we will get started with this right away and let's plug this into the system and see if we get a signal from this so for this I'm going to use a USB extender because I wouldn't like this hanging out of the USB device sometimes it might start bending or breaking because of the weight and all the pressures the pulls that might be on this cable and all hanging it hanging on the, from the USB port in this way might not be healthy for my laptop USB port or for this device so I prefer to have something more flexible coming out from the the PC and I can then attach this one to that USB extender like that so this this is why I'm making use of a USB extender you can use a single a cable USB extender uh, which of them but you have to ensure that it's a 3.0 extender because I'm using a 3.0 port on that laptop I don't want to have drop frames I want to have it you know the most that I can now I will check to see that I have a signal in there and once I do have a signal in there, then I'm going to convert, I'm going to uh, change my settings, right? I'm going to change my settings to have a, an output that is equal to the output of this device. That's what I want to use. Something that's close to the output of this device. That's what I need to use. So we'll be going over to the system now and let's make that modifications over there. I've added one video capture uh, source in here. The capture from this. Uh, right now, it's it's giving me a demo from the camera, which is giving me a camera demo here. I could set it up to camera. You could see right here. Uh, at this point that I'm, ha I'm having a so let me let me adjust this a little bit you could see that right here that I'm getting the the feed from the camera and the camera is right here in front of me and I'm getting the feed here depending on the amount of light that I have coming in here now. okay so I just let in a bit extra natural light to come right in so that the light becomes a bit stronger so you could see that i have a lot more light now the camera needs a bit of light and you could see the signal strength from the camera coming through coming through so i'm going to leave everything at i'm actually using the max resolution then everything else for now i will leave them at default i could you could want to try other video format if there are multiple but this one has just a uh, an M MJPEG format, uh, maybe one might want to try. All of this color range, full, and all that. So, but you could leave all that at the default, the default setting. Now, for this. Maybe something something less, but I will leave it at that. So I stretch this in. So this is the resolution that this very device has here. Uh, it's not like it's a heavy high resolution. Uh, but then, but you could see the 
the video output of this camera. It's it's an old camera. If it's giving good light, right? If it's giving good light, it does pretty well. And you can see its output right there. What it has, we see by by that. And uh, yeah, sometimes you might want to go uh, scaling it up to uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This very one, and that's why you need to be very, very, you know. So I reactivate that, and it's going to come right back up. So it's it's working pretty well. Lesion different from that. Cool. So that's just it. So let me go to this video signal here, and let's let's try to use uh, let's try to use a sixteen by nine. Uh, canvas and then uh, sorry a 720p canvas now and then scale up yeah so this is what you get it's a bit oversaturated so you could work on the saturation because I'm having strong lights coming in from all sides so you could add a filter work on the saturation or you could use the the settings that you that comes with the source the properties you could bring down the saturation to make it realistic oh uh, yeah and then why not maybe a little bit of contrast just a little bit of contrast um, maybe we could touch the gamma a little maybe taking it up or down depending on what works well for you that should be enough that should be good so you see our color is very much down now so yeah we we've set up a quick stream the rest will be to enter your stream keys and that and those are not what i have to do let me give you a preview let me start a recording and give you a preview of what this uh the output that i have here might look like when it's uh when it's recorded so you see the the screen itself instead of just the feedback here now this capture device uh, as we have here might also want to get an audio and the audio you have to set custom and pick the the audio of your device like this one for example and yeah so might be noisy, but you could see the indication, the indicator right there now coming up, right there. See the indicator there. Cool. So, as easy as this will be, your live stream setup is done with a with a relatively uh, simple old camera. This guy. This guy. Right here. Let me run my focus to it. Okay. This guy right here. And you could see where our connection is, the batteries and all that. See that? So now I'm looking at myself. You could see the you could see the resolution. And mind you, we are on a lockdown with social distancing. And so I can't shave. <laughs> You might be wondering why I have these huge stuff. I'm trying to keep my distance away from the barbers at the moment. So bear with me. Yes, so this is it. This is the camera and all that and the school. So whichever you might want to use between this recording and that recording. So if you have issues and you have a device that you probably want me to show you a demo on how to get to use, you could very well uh, send me a message uh, you can reach me on whatsapp on facebook youtube comments down here or any of the other channel and i'll probably show you how to use this and i just want to ensure that you all there have a very effective uh, media system going on within this period of the pandemic you need to stay safe you need to try to see as much as you can how to run your services you know fr remotely right now connect with your members there are many alternatives out there that you could give a try you could try out 
So if anyone works for you, make use of that. You don't need to spend uh, so much to get started like I have just showed you. You could make use of your old video camera if you have one lying around. Uh, as long as the lens is working and the unit comes on and your AV port can send out a signal. And you can as well uh, make use of your, of your devices, very affordable devices like the very cheap and affordable easy cap device and with a very very good or strong video signal coming out of your camera your resolution will be pretty good also shows that you don't need to break the bank to get started and yes there are certain spec in terms of laptops and systems like this if you need to ask questions about spec you could let me know so i can see what kind of information i can get across to you as concerning system specs for you to make use of for now we're actually making use of this very simple old camera out here and very cheap devices. This is very this is easier than the pinnacle system that I showed you yesterday because for this one you can very much feed your audio through this device without having to use a different sound card like I showed you in the last video. But if you end up having a video device a video, then put that to work take up the video signal and use it refer to the previous video that was a bit of a hasty, hasty video that was put together yesterday so I need you to look at that and see if it works for you if not give this one a try it's quite affordable it's easy to set up and it's quicker but ensure that you're getting the best sound quality into your system that's what you want to make sure you do have I'm Stewart Godwin Johnson and I'm the lead pastor of Ely's Name Bible Church and also the convener of the Mind Workshop Conferences. You can get our mobile app, which I'm trying to put together from the Google Play Store. Just type in Mind and Workshop and you'll probably find that app there. It's called Mind Workshop and share your thoughts with me through WhatsApp. There's a chat button there which you can use to talk to me, you know, and ask questions and I'll see exactly how to help if I can. Thank you for spending this time with me and do subscribe and I hope to see you next time. So ring that notification bell so that the next time that I have a video out there, you probably will look and get it. So have your questions, ask them. God bless you. Jesus is coming.